Let's go to Placer County. A dangerous day for law enforcement there. Two officers hurt in the line of duty, one seriously injured in a crash, another in critical condition tonight after a shootout. That shooting happened late last night in the parking lot of the McDonald's on South Auburn Street in Colfax. Your reporter Kayla Moeller is live outside the hospital in Roseville where that deputy was taken. Kayla. Hi, guys. Yeah, well, I am outside of the Sutter Roseville Medical Center where a Placer County deputy is in critical but stable condition after a shootout last night that left the suspect dead. I saw him when uh, I left work last night. This morning I wake up and my news feed is, is you know, tele talking about the same guy. The guy he's talking about was driving this burgundy van. The van matched the description from a burglary the night before. You can see in the top right corner of this surveillance video obtained by CBS 13 the moment sheriff's deputies pull up with their flashing lights. That's when things took a turn. That suspect immediately became uncooperative. At some point in time during this contact, the suspect began firing at deputies. Deputies immediately returned fire. The man then barricaded himself in the van. A SWAT team arrived and approached the van, finding the man dead inside. It's unclear at this time whether the man was killed by deputies or a self-inflicted gunshot. The incident happening in one of the busiest areas of Colfax, with the investigation spilling over into the early afternoon. Big news. They shut down everything here. So, um, it's really unfortunate. I was going down to go shopping for my housewarming weekend, having folks coming up from the Bay Area and all around my friends and family, and uh, and I can't get to the grocery store because of this crime in sleepy little Colfax, California. I'm amazed. The community shocked to have this happen. Well, it's madness. This is yo know, calm, quiet. You know, it's Colfax. You know. The identity of the suspect has not yet been released, but the Placer County Sheriff's Office says that they are touched by the outpour of support from the community, and they say that the deputy is expected to survive.